When a piece of sodium metal is added to a flask of chlorine gas, the vigorous reaction that takes place releases a lot of energy, and sodium chloride, common table salt, forms. The chemical details of sodium chloride formation are similar to the formation of many other simple ionic compounds. Let's view the process of ionic compound formation on the atomic scale. As soon as the metal and nonmetal make contact, the process begins. When the chlorine molecules land on the sodium surface, they separate into individual chlorine atoms, each lying next to a sodium atom. Focus on one pair of atoms to see the key event in the formation of an ionic compound. Electron transfer from the metal atom to the non-metal atom. The sodium atom has 11 protons and 12 neutrons in its nucleus and 11 electrons around the nucleus. The chlorine atom has 17 protons and 18 neutrons in its nucleus and 17 electrons surround it. The sodium atom transfers an electron to the chlorine atom and the particles that result attract each other and release energy. The loss of the electron converts the sodium atom into a smaller, positively charged sodium ion, Na+, while the gain of the electron converts the chlorine atom into a larger, negatively charged chloride ion, Cl-. Let's view this essential step once more. This electron transfer process occurs between all the other sodium and chlorine atoms as well. The large quantities of energy released vaporize tiny clusters of ions, and these attract others to release more energy. These clusters, which eventually aggregate and coat the walls of the flask, consist of the regular array of ions that make up crystalline sodium chloride.